Hello everybody and welcome to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4 with the Rights of Man expansion. Uh, this just came out. I've been actually playing as Molly a little bit in stream just now with a bunch of other people and having a good time with it. So I decided to try to make this a full, a full series. There is a new um, achievement for Molly, which is to have, it's called Abu Bakir II's Ambition and it's to have... Uh, four colonial nations in South America. So the goal is to grab the exploration idea group and beat everybody over to uh, South America and try to claim it all as your own as Molly, which I think is going to be very hard, but we're going to give it a try here. Uh, we start out in a decent position. We have a very good income because we have two gold mines. Um, yeah, that's a gold mine and that one's a gold mine. So it's it's great to have that income. The problem is going to be over here, and that's my inflation goes up at a pretty decent clip. So we're going to try to have to uh, rein that in at some point, too. We might get lucky. No, I was, I was hoping there might be the uh, somebody to give me you know, inflation reduction, but uh, that's not in here. So let's see what we're working with. Trade efficiency, spy network construction speed, morale... Yeah, I think I'm going to take morale and let's do, yeah, I mean, I don't, I kind of don't want to take the two on there. Production efficiency, that'd give me, yeah, I could, I could afford it. Production efficiency, stability cost modifier. I guess we'll take a stability cost modifier. Uh, I, I have a lot of money, but not a lot to do with it. So I fig figure that it's going to be better for me to... Um, to, to, to spend it now rather than just have it stockpile for not really any good reason. So let's protect trade. Uh, yes, Ivory Coast. Pick some rivals. Um, that's this guy right here. And let's see. That's that guy right there. And Songhai. Yeah, let's do that. And then I need some allies too. So we are immediately going to send out overtures to you. Hmm. Let's see the small guy. Yeah, they would accept. Timbuk two would join me. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm more interested in getting these these guys right here, because we're touching each other. I think they're more likely to accept, and they'll help me pretty well. Um, I'll get uh, uh, what's it called with them quicker. I'll get uh favors with them quicker because I'm more powerful than they are. No, we're not improving rivals here. Improving rivals, we're. <laughs> Uh, improving, improving relations with our rivals is what I'm trying to say there. Build spy network. Okay, we're gonna do that. Build the spy network. Let's accept this. Take a mission. Conquer royal marriage with Kong. That's easy. All we gotta do is dynastic. December 28th. Just getting this easy stuff out of the way as quickly as we can. There it is. And Janae, do it. Oh, make sure that's in there. Royal marriage. Okay, good. All right. So achieve religious unity, conquer or improve prestige. We're gonna do do. We're gonna do conquer, and that's that one right there. Um, probably no one's gonna join me yet because nobody owes me anything. But we'll we'll work on it. He doesn't have very good allies. I mean that one and that one. Wait, was it those two? No, it was this one. These two, I think. So, I think I got the better alliance web over here. And you're all alone. That's good. That guy... Oh, Portuguese ships already. And, okay. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. Should be okay here. Um, I did, like I said, I was just playing this on stream with uh, Bob and Midgeman and Kelvin and NG Paradox. And I was having a good time with it. So, I think I should be able to take care of this. We got, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, I'm Sunni. This is all fetish land, fetishist. So we got to do a lot of conversion, and it's going to take a good long while without any really substantial um, modifiers to it. All right, fetish cells. Don't have to worry about that. And this is a problem. My well, foreign spy detection chance of new air fertile. Well, that's good. Um, my air is bad, and my king is bad. Ruler must be at least 60 years old or have ruled for 20 years to be able to abdicate. Oi. So. 
I, I'm looking at this right now. I'm telling you, my air sucks and my ruler sucks. So what I can do is kick out my... I can take the prestige hit. And aggressive expansion. I mean, right now, the prestige... Does it affect? Hmm. It doesn't look like it affects... Conversion speed, which is what I'm interested in right now. So I can disinherit this kid for 50 prestige and hope for a better one, which I mean I'm sure I'll get because I, I'm fertile. And my queen is not bad. Diallo, Diallo. And what do I want to do? Do I want to do I want to shoot for anything in spe specific here? Probably military. Because getting getting this land morale 0.5 is going to be a pretty big boon early in the game. And the other option is to try to get feudalism as soon as I can. But it's spreading by itself very slowly. Alright, so let's speed this up. It's going to be a little while before I can really do anything, so let's speed this up. Relations improve... Relations improve. Get that going. I'm going to be looking to expand into m mossy territory. And uh, Jolof? Yeah, let's go with Jolof. And I don't think I need too many more troops to deal with these guys. They don't have a lot. And it's it's basically, it's just, um, just got to siege down their capital. And then I can take the other ones pretty easily. I think... Oh, this is going to be rough. There's so many ideas that are going to be useful. Innovative ideas are going to be very useful. Exploration is going to be very useful, given the, the goal of the series is that achievement. Hmm, trade would be useful. Any of the military ones, basically, are always useful. I think economic... Yearly ref uh, inflation reduction, yeah, right there. Economic, innovative, economic, exploration, all going to be useful. I think exploration is going to be where I need to do f what I need to do first to uh, try to make this work for me. Because if I if I remember correctly, with the institutions, with this one, with colonialism, it has a chance to fire for any nation that has a colony. And if I have a colony, it has a chance to start in Mali, which would basically, you know, jumpstart tech in West Africa rather than in Europe. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. The problem is, is I would have to make sure I embraced the Renaissance soon, too. Blasphemy! Prominent, prom <laughs> prominent, prominent? I almost said Protestant. Prominent, an outspoken government official rec uh, recently transferred home from the diplomatic corps, seems to have spent a little too much of his time abroad. He's returned to Nini? Niani? Niani. With some uh, controversial ideas on how to interpret the words of the prophet. And needless to say, provoked a lot of ire amongst the clergy. Several imams have declared the uh, official a blasphemer. So, gain piety, lose power, lose piety, lose prestige. Hmm. National tax modifier. National manpower modifier. Tech cost. Let's let's go down and see what happens here. Interesting. So if you're not very pious, you get more money, more men, and your tech costs go down. I can get on board with that. All right, now we have a claim over here. Well, we don't have a claim yet, but we can get one. Well, off. Uh, that's what we're going to do. Okay. I am going to... Hope that my ruler dies in battle. Savannah will cross a river. Should probably bother to actually get some more troops in here. Let's actually increase the... Oh, God, I just punched the crap out of my microphone. Pay no attention to that noise. There we go. Much better. Now, we're going to declare war. Well, let's, um, let's recall one of these guys. Declare war. 
Uh, you don't want. I don't, you don't need to come in. Conquest confirm. I don't want to take too much land. I don't want. I because I, because this is going to involve. Oh shit! I forgot about my navy. Well, we stack wiped our army at least. I don't want to go too wide. Uh, because playing tall is much more feasible strategy now than it ever was before. So I kind of want to try that. Um, in terms of colonies, I plan on creeping down the Ivory Coast. Not going to touch these because there's an event that fires that gives those to another nation. So I'm going to leave those alone. Musa the third embraces, embarrasses the court. Blame the Mansa. Lose stability. Oh, that was harsh. I wasn't relying on that. Oh, I was... Not thinking that was going to happen. That sucks. National unrest, interest per annum, yearly legitimacy, caravan power. I got it. I can't. I can't sit on that. I was really hoping he would die in battle. I know it was a small percentage chances of happening, but what am I going to do? Walls breached. Actually going very well this siege. You're going to full annex this whole thing. Or, or what we could do is vassalize them. Although I think I'm maxed out on that right now. There, let's, um... Okay, we're talking about me. I've already got three allies. And three royal marriages. No, I could have a fourth, so I could I could vassalize them and let them grow on the, by themselves for a little while. That might be a good idea, actually. Because if we're talking about trying to go a little taller than we normally do, that would be a great idea. No, I don't care what you say, it's not going to be what I want. Easy victory there. They're so segregated from the rest of the country, it's, a, it's, it's an easy win there. Let's move these guys. Where can we hold them? Where they won't take attrition. No, that's fine. All right, so pause. We're going to take these two. You're going to give me all of your money. So I really don't want to spend a, just, you know, like all my points, especially all my admin points when there's so much stuff in admin ID groups I want. Coring land. Humiliate. No, I can't. What does humiliate do? Power projection. That would give me more points. But you know what? I think I'd rather have them as a vassal. Give up all your claims in my land. Okay, that'll be that. Good. So, let's see. The, uh, Malay Malian? Let's go with Malian. Uh, Conquest of Wolof. I took 7,582 casualties. Most of them from attrition. Lost two ships, and they took 11,000 in combat. Okay. So, you're gonna come down here. And we're gonna make sure that we... Improve relations here as soon as we can. October 26th. Prove relations. Core. Core. Because I don't want, you know, like, like I said, if, if I had taken all those, I wouldn't even have enough power points to core them right now. I would have to wait. And corruption is growing. We need to root out that corruption. That's because I have overextension right now. Okay, good. That was a good first step. I feel like that was a good first step. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is going to be try to... Well, I'm going to make sure... I don't think I'm going to make another step until they recover. I'm going to improve relations with my allies. One per year. Yeah. Probably should wait until I have more... Uh, more favors to throw around until I get my... A couple more provinces converted to Sunni. But we're definitely going to try that. Um, expanding once once that happens. These guys are my rival. My one ship. Fortunately, I lost two. 
But we do have some money. So we can get those back. Let's... Should we leave these up? We do have... Rebels. But let's let's do this. Let's increase the added autonomy. It's going to be a long time before they're profitable. But I can live with that. Alright, good. Now, uh, feudalism. It's going to be till almost 1500 before we naturally accept it here. So we might want to work on getting that accepted sooner rather than later. Because we're going to start incurring some pretty big tech penalties. Like, it's going to be 900 power points. Almost 900. Oh, nice. 400 men! Because right now, because we haven't accepted feudalism, we have a 50% debuff to tech cost. So I think that trying to get feudalism accepted is going to be number one priority. So let's get this up. Now, increasing your development directly increases your your spread rate here. So we're going to do that. Okay. So we went from 1497 to 1485 being the finish date. That's still, you know, 40 years away, but it's a lot closer. It's 12 years, like 12 years closer than it was. 11 years closer than it was. Uh, let's see. We have been approached by several imams who have asked for our financial support. So... Gain piety, lose ducats. Lose prestige, lose piety. Let's shoot our piety all the way down and see what happens. Got that tax modifier, which is cool, and the tech cost down. There's no negatives to doing it, it's just what you what would you rather have. Hmm. All right, so what do we got over here in terms of rebels? Point eight, point four. So there's a good chance they're going to hit. I'm probably going to want to keep my army maintenance high. Although the fetishist, the where was it? Oh, I thought there was actually a fetishist faction. Doesn't look like it. All right, maybe I won't have to uh, worry about that too much. All right, how much do you like me? 164, 144, 121. So we'll work on Kong. Improve relations with Kong. If I could get all my, you know, I've got my vassal now. They're kind of a forced ally. Conversion successful. I got uh, M Messina. I got, got Jeanne. I got Kong. If they all join me, I mean, it's a very powerful defensive alliance. If someone attacks me, I'm good. Uh, if I go to war, I'm definitely going to need those favors to make it happen, though. So that was two provinces. Over here, I think we're doing that one right now. And I can make these guys convert. Once they like me a little bit more. They're loyal. I have one of their cores still. I thought I revoked them. Declared war, aggressive expansion, force vassalized, was at war... All that stuff is going to decay out at a pretty decent clip. Is it that one? Let's see. Play that no, that's that's me. This is one of their core provinces. So mm. Oh! The Renaissance. Okay. Travelers speak of the great rebirth of old ideas in far away land. So the Renaissance has been embraced somewhere in Italy. Forgive me if my voice is a little bit off. I've been streaming for most of the day, so it's a little bit scratchy. All right, so we got to try to get feudalism fast. So let's just start increasing this. What is it now? 1477. It's 27 years out still. 27 years. That's a long ways. That is a long ways. All right, so we spent our points. All right, that knocked five years off. So that's still 22 years. A spread rate of 0.42 per month. All right, we'll do this. We'll get it. We'll get it. Getting feudalism is not hard. Getting the Renaissance is a lot harder. But I think what we're doing is going to go feudal. 
Once we have that, then we can work on the Renaissance. We can, we can worry about that later. Royal marriage? Must have, somebody must have died if I didn't already have one there. Thought we had it. Thought we had one. I'm hoping I can make this achievement work. This sounds fun. My right, cord. And we gotta work on that one. Assassination of a noble. Lose legitimacy, or lose... I'll take the legitimacy hit. I know that legitimacy comes slowly. We gotta do what we gotta do. Oh! Free PowerPoints. Rigorous research. 40 of everything. I came in here to look at something. I don't remember what it was. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, I was thinking about having this... I I can make him abdicate. And I mean, a 111 is better than a 100. Oh boy, that's a big hit. And he's not, he's only 40. I mean, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. And he... Oh! Yearly Legitimacy, plus one. That actually works out pretty well. Royal Marriage with Kong. Have a new queen. 3-3-4. Three, three, and we cord that province. I know it was a big hit. But I desperately, desperately need those power points. That's two extra power points per month. Just for having that guy abdicate. Now, it would be nice if this guy, I could get him out of the way too. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. So we're gonna do we're gonna work with what we got. Hmm. I gotta get feudalism. I got I gotta do it. How much do I need for this one? I kinda wanna try to want kinda wanna try to keep it even. I mean I, yeah, I clearly went you know, the whole hog on the military points, but I have military power points much more than I have anything else. Great advisor has died. Boo. Alright. So that knocked about another 10 years off. 1463. So now we're 12 years out for that. Production efficiency, missionary strength. Yes. You. Missionary strength. That's going to make converting so much faster. Two extra percentage points on missionary strength is going to make this go so much smoother. Wow. Wow. Pogwabga. That's beautiful. 443. I will take that any day of the week. Let's do the hardest one first, I think. No, let's do the easiest ones first. Do what we can. Hmm. And I gotta deal with this now. It's a shame to have to do this again. Charity for the poor. Ducats. I can afford ducats. I've got negative 56 prestige now because of that. Minus one stability. I forget that you lose the stability points even if you're abdicating. I did forget about that. Wasn't really thinking. But I would have done it anyway. I would have done it anyway. So we're actually getting close here. 62%. I don't know how how much I want to force this and how much I want to let it do it naturally. I definitely, at, at some point, I feel like I should just let it do it naturally. Privilations here. Privilations there. Make sure everybody loves me. All right, so set focus. We're, this is my subject interactions, right? Let's see here. Pay off debt. Enforce religion. Same religion. Force them to change their religion to yours. Oh, we're already the same religion. They're already Sunni. Oh, they are. Right up there. Their capital is Sunni. Okay. So I don't have to worry about that. 
And I doubt I'll be able to force anybody to or ask anybody to vassalize themselves to me. No. Definitely not. If I'm going to vassalize anybody, I'm going to have to do it by force. And I'm not vassalize. I'm not going to do that to my allies because, like I said, these guys are touching me. And this guy is going to be problematic. So I definitely want to do that. Uh, do that alliance web here. The ones that are touching me, the more likely to help out. Okay, these guys are not going to be too bad, I don't think. I think I got them. Uh, let's look at this, though. All right, so right now, all these guys would join in for territorial concessions. But if I wait until I have favors to call in, then we're good. All right, so what are we looking at? Okay, we got this chunk done. Oh, yeah, you know what? Those guys are the same religion as me, too. So that's that's a natural alliance web right there. We're going to have the um, same religion right in there without any, you know, without any second thought about it. All right, we got to fix this. hate having to spend that much points. I've already spent 250 points increasing my stability already. These power points are even more precious now with the new uh, institution as opposed to the old tech system. They're even more precious now than they've ever been, and I just had to spend 250 of them just on stability. Okay, there we go. 1461. Less than a decade. And once you got it in one, that's all you need. It'll spread naturally throughout the others. Ten favors. Look at that. Roll for a general and one, two. I can deal with that. These guys, we're going to declare war. Ooh, they brought in another person. But it's a one province minor, so... We're going to call all of them in. We're gonna confirm that. And we're going to take the, the war goal here. Ooh. Go get him. What's going on here? Why can't I move there? Okay, we're allies. Do we not have transit rights? Just thought that was a uh, given. All right, go get him. Shiza. All right, well, they should have the negative two from the jungle, because this is our fort. They do. Oh, shit, 6,000 more men. I'm on the bottom there on the top here. So two to three. Come on, allies, come help me, please. If you could. And these guys going to arrive 20 seconds, so three days. Oh, I'm going to get real lucky here. Ah, I won. And I got infantry combat ability 10% out of that. Oh, that was really lucky. Okay, I am going to siege down his allies' territory is what I'm going to do. I got, I got really lucky there that... Did he actually get his men in there? I didn't see. Maybe the morale was so low that they couldn't do anything. I think it was. Alright, good. That was actually a really good first battle. I thought it was fucked. But no, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's okay. The Kong royal family will learn the pleasantries exchange to gain 10 Diplo power. Kong and Molly like each other. We've been entertaining guests from Kong and we got along well. My puppy's playing in the background. I don't know if you can hear her. Ooh, political crisis. Lose stability, lose legitimacy. Oh. Let the Mansa attempt to soften the impact. This is available because I'm righteous. So yeah, we're just going to take the 10 legitimacy hit, which is bad. 
but it's better than the 25. And I could, I could, I could artificially boost that if I need to. I can, I can work with that. Ooh, conversion. So let's get another one going. Wow, we are doing really well. I think that first battle really broke them. Mobs target unbelievers. Um, I think having positive gives you missionary strength. It does. So I'm actually going to yes into piety right now. So you're we're not at war with you, but we're at war with you. So let's let's head on over there. Man, this is a slaughter. We lost. Oh no! It looks like we're gonna win that one. Reinforcements arrived just in time. Yeah, I'm gonna mess in some of these guys up pretty good. This is actually really, really good. We're gonna be able to knock out a a major player in the region without too much trouble. But we are out of time, so I'm gonna leave this right here, and we'll finish up this war next time. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment for me to read. I do try to get through those as best I can. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in more, and I will see you guys next time.